the point they've been making is that culture mm -hmm. is dynamic. Mm -hmm. It has been changing, and yes. culture informs law. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So currently, once there is a conversation about homosexuality, it means that today we are, this is prime television. Mm -hmm. We have a conversation about it. Yes. So, we so, wouldn't have done this in 1981. Yes, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it means that, the, and the president recently was interviewed somewhere, and I think he made a point, uh, Nana Kufa, the president Nana Kufa, he made a point that... It's bound to happen. Yeah, society, when society begins to open up, it is bound to happen. But not now. Don't, don't do well, I don't know about that, no, no. He said that on Al Jazeera, by the way. <laughs> You're on Al Jazeera. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the so, point the president so, made was that when he was growing up in England, it was an anathema. Yes. Of course. By the time he finished studying in England, people were sort of accepting it. And, and my position is very fundamental. I think that I saw an, uh, a, a report, or a news reportage, where some women, uh, gender feminist groups, have uh, issued a support to the, to the community, to the, to the gay community. And, and I think that is right. And I'm very disappointed that the, the, the women, you know, organi women rights organization groups in Ghana are silent about it. Because to not understand the struggles of persons with homo persons, uh, the gay community, is not to understand the struggles of women, you know, rights, ideas, and all that. Because it's important to understand is that. Is that a correlation? Of course. All forms of oppression are linked. Oppression? All forms of oppression. That's a linked. strong word to use. Yes. And that's the that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fundamental position of my organization, POWA. LGBTQs are being oppressed? Women, women. You know, women have, you know, layers of women, intersectional layers of women. All women are not oppressed in the same way. Of course, my, my, my what I would call oppression would be different from a woman who is very deprived in the rural community, not have access to education, what they would call oppression. But every woman has a because, kind of oppression? Because, is that what yes. you're saying? I mean, like she said, women are not homogeneous as well. So it's important you understand the intersectional you know, uh, layers of women as well. So um, I, I, I would have expected that organized women groups in Ghana would have joined the struggle of the... Of the, of the, of the I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Organized women's group mm -hmm. to join the struggle for freedom for LGBTQ? Because, because currently, the reason why we haven't been able, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not a feminist, but I'm an activist, that we can achieve equity, we can achieve equality when it comes to gender representations and issues and all that. We haven't done that. We haven't been able to achieve that. Why is it the case? Because women's, but that's group, not prohibited women, by women's groups are organized in parochial. Parochial ideas, parochial and limited from the broader issues of rights and citizenship rights and all that. What this community is calling for is representation, is to be heard, to, to be allowed to have the right to their sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. And it's the same yeah, but struggle. But is that sexual orientation not prohibited by the uh, uh, ecclesiastical Bible? You see... Um, and if I, it is, should it matter? I, I don't think that. I think that would limit the conversation when we look at it from a moral code. It's well, not a moral conversation. <laughs> it's not a moral conversation. It's, it's not a religious that's conversation. Not, Paul, that's right no, for me, it's, it's a question. It's not, about, it's not about the God of Abraham. No, no, no. no. It's not about society, that. Our society is not a Christian society. Our society is very pluralistic. That's yeah, but, why but, these ideas... 70, 80 percent Christian. Ideas, okay, so no, a, no, it doesn't matter. Let me correct that impression. Right no, the constitution... All, all the religious, whilst it may not be a Christian society, mm -hmm. Christianity, Islam, mm -hmm. and traditional religion, mm -hmm. all uphold the most No, no, the, the, moral, the moral document, the most important moral document here will be the constitution. Thank you. And does not recognize any religious... You know. It doesn't, but all the but, religions but, 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 abhorred. No, yes. it's irrelevant to that. I'm saying that the moral code here is a constitution. Yes. The constitution, obviously. And I've quoted a constitution. No, no, no. Okay, the constitution you know what? No, but the constitution, the constitution, the constitution came. The constitution <laughs> is derived from law, <laughs> and yeah. law is derived from the people. So yes. I am, I'm only explaining to you. No, no, hold on, hold on. So if, no, if, if, if the law says more no, so what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that that is the direction society is going. Yes. Which direction? The direction that these groups are organizing, and very soon there'll be more people, more groups emerging, calling movement. for rights. Yes. Because the constitution gives opening. Calling for rights of LGBTQ. Calling for so many other diverse rights, because the constitution gives room to that. So yeah, public opinion, gender, gender, gender parity. Gender parity is a right that is not going to conflict with religion. It's a right that's not going to conflict with uh, no. morality. It, 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 it does. It does. It does. It does. Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Yes. Okay. Obviously. All right. yes.